Hey guys, what's going on? It's not welcome back to another escape video custom map. Today is gonna be interesting. Yes, sir. -y. As today we are playing one from Con Clan and Alfie, and it's called Three Exit. If that means there's three exits or what but um i've actually been waiting for somebody in the general portal 2 community to like make an escape room so i'm very excited to see what um conclan and alfie have come up with i know that they had the game um on release and they both played through it so yeah let's jump in and um see what they've cooked up for us shall we all righty then there's the Threxit. Okay, we have 15 keys. Yikes. We have six bookshelves with different colored books. There's some interesting blue paint there. We have a picture, we have an envelope. Is there anything in the envelope? There is not. One six one. Don't know if that's of uh, any relevance. Have we just got like an infinite stack of envelopes here. Okay. I'm guessing these are door keys. They don't much look like desk keys. But I may be wrong. I don't particularly want to brute force it, if we can help it, so... Nothing on the candle. What is it with the books? Is there anything with the books? Or are they just there as a decorative feature? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What? <laughs> That's not freaky in the slightest. Jeez, who's that guy? He looks scary. Oh, hello, like, hidden key that's just randomly on the bottom. Where did that come from? There's like some, there's like really weird markings around this chamber. There's really weird markings all the way around this chamber. So blue is like three. None of these books are like pickable, are they? No, I really don't want to just try all the keys in the door. But what else do we do here? Oh, hello, sneaky trash can key. Weirdly, I've always like when, I've always thought to myself like you should check the trash cans because even when I'm playing the the normal um, escape simulator campaign level, if you can call them campaign, um, I've always thought like you could be really sneaky and hide stuff in a trash can. So, okay. Oh my goodness me. So we have books there that are labelled 1 to 11. We have yet more keys. Right. Because, let's be honest, you can never have too many keys. We've got some mug root beer. He's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, Chris Pratt as Mario. No, thank you. Uh, moving on. There is a pickaxe in the clock. A lot of this stuff isn't interactable, so... 
he says as he then sees a chess piece rolling around in the drawer. Okay, so I guess we've got to find the chess pieces in here, right? Our things to do. Water the melon, pot the plant, baby, egg, uh, second baby, seven. Is that seven? Could be. Could be. Is there anything in the ink pot? Let's have a look. There is not. I can go back there then. And this locket doesn't open. Key. There are just keys everywhere, dude. More keys. How? Checking for that guy again, you know. That creepy guy looking through the window. All right, key. Open those ones, but we have another key. Why is this a key item as well? Hey, chess piece, that's why. Yeah, maybe we need to identify the books. The, the books. Let me just pick up book 11. Oh, they're switches. Huh. So what? 11, 8, 3, 9, 10, 2. That's worth shot. Alright, so I'm guessing like yellow means yellow means the hour. Oh, they've only got one hand on them. What does the green one mean though? Also, there's two trash cans. Illuminati's watching us as well. So there's our final um, chess piece. All right, so the crow doesn't move. So I guess that was the right place to put the crow. Can we put the golden falcon anywhere? I guess that's where the blue comes from on the other side of here, look. I guess it's that writing there, possibly? Alright, the root beer's a key item for some reason. We got a... FNAF newsletter here, a uh, newspaper. The pizzeria is found. There it is. Okay, what if we switch all these to red instead? And then we did 11, 7, 3, 9, 10, 2. Oh. Something in the vase, though. In the vase. It's a vase. It's not a vase. I'm now stuck in the vase. The vase. Whatever you want to call it. Tomato, tomato. Maybe Chris has the answer. Maybe not. It's got to be a hidden key somewhere, right? Oh, hello, key. Hello, sneaky. Could you be the one I'm looking for? No. Is that an Among Us character and a smiley face? Just click everything. It's time to think that this map wasn't by Conclan. Maybe it comes from Rogan. Why also am I wearing a pair of glasses and then the uh, the arms aren't even out? I'm not sure that'd be particularly comfortable. What on earth is that? It looks one of them like ceiling light things. With the, the you put attach the fan to. You don't attach the fan to it, it has a fan on it. Let's try the keys, maybe from the other room. Do I really want to take those keys and try them all in this clock? Okay, well, 
all the keys that I found in there. Actually, uh, open up anything. What do you think? Do you think we should take some of these keys off this table? Man, this music's enough to drive anyone insane. Well, we tried all the keys, so at least we ruled that out. I'm two. What's that mean? So there's a two in that room, there's a three in that room. I don't know if that's like relevant. I don't know if it makes more sense that I have them here. I just. It's like, what does the. I mean, six clocks gives us numbers. Three, four, two, six, one, five would be the red numbers. And then got eleven, seven, three, nine, ten, two. That's the other numbers. Do we do both numbers together? Like eleven and three, seven and four. Three, two, nine, six, ten, one, and two, five. Is it the number that's not there? So we've got eleven, three. Oh, one ones we got one, two, three. Four. It's gonna be every number there, isn't there? Five, six. Yeah, it's gonna be every number there. Seven. There's no eight. There's no eight. There's no eight and there's no twelve. The other thing is, do we need to like maybe put these or can we put these like in the middle? No, there's no middle point between that one though. No real middle point between that one or any of those three there. Four. Yeah, there's only one that you can put like a middle point. It's definitely a key though that opens this. I still don't know why this can't a key item. Is that like a clue though to something? Because. Things one. Things one punt, right? And then the third thing is there. Could that indicate a three or something? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Do the red markers... Maybe the red markers mean the order. Okay, so that would be... Let's think about this. Uh, Ten, three, eleven, seven... Two, nine. Yes! Oh my god. Logic prevails. Please be that one. Yes. Can I not take my pickaxe? I guess not. Alright, so this should then be the key. It's a paper story and a golden key. I'll strap yourselves in. I always wonder why my father used to make one-handed clocks. I would ask him again and again before he died, but would always say the same weird story. Me and my brothers were always feuding. One day, we met the most amazing woman, Christina. Her hair was auburn like the leaves in the fall, and her face was maybe an 8 out of 10. Anyways, that's not really important. Point is, my brothers and I got into a fight, so we decided to have a race to see who would take Cassie's hand for themselves. Cassie? Who's Cassie? So we call Christina? I don't know. Uh, the thing is, we weren't the only ones who had the, per se, hots for Cassandra. What? Oh my god. Alright, this confirms suspicions. Rogan wrote this. R Rogan made this map. Every guy in our school knew she was a keeper compared to the five and si fives and sixes that they were dating. So we made a whole event of it. We gave everyone's numbers so that it was easy to track who was where in the race. Like a triathlon. So we got to work for like a month to set the whole thing up. 
then on the then on the third no fourth day of march we had everything ready the next day we explained to all the boys the rules and handed out the numbers since fred was as egotistical as ever he gave himself the first number then he shuffled the rest of them and handed them out i got number seven i think garrett got four eddie got five jared got ten and matt got um seven uh didn't you always get seven <laughs> no wait i got seven <laughs> It was something close to it, though. Was it a six? No, wait. It was an eight. Yes, most definitely. And so, the 24 boys lined up at the, per se, starting line. We were to race to the edge of the park, over the wooden bridge, to the statue of Obama, then loop back around, crossing the bridge again. Then, we were to race race past the park. Oh, my God. The writing. Past, past the park, all the way to the big tree where the raccoon did the backflip. The race was on. Now, me and my brothers planned the whole thing, so we weren't about to lose. Eddie worked in the coal mine across town, so we planned to give it all, give it our all once all six of us made it back over the bridge. We would blow it up so the other boys couldn't follow us. Eddie snatched some mining charges and set them up before we started, so everything was set. We took a shortcut and waited for all the boys to get to the statue. Of course, Eddie sneezed and pushed the plunger too early, killing five and injuring like seven others. <laughs> However... I think that worked in our favour. Everyone saw it from the blast and or grieving, so we were able to slip by the finish to finish the race. It was then we dropped the truce and per se dashed towards the tree. It was over before I knew it. I did it. I touched the tree first before any of my brothers. It was me. Then Jared. Garrett was next. And Matt. And he got tackled by the cops halfway there, so I guess you could say he got fifth and Fred died in the blast. Guess he got last. But none of that mattered to me. I had won Chanel's hand. <laughs> Chanel's hand. After that, we went on like one date and found out we weren't really working out, so we ended up pinning that bridge, <laughs> bridge explosion on her. But that's a whole other story. Anyway, to remember that day, I make those 100 clock to remind me of Fred and how his entire arm was missing <laughs> when we found that <laughs> what was left of his body. I was scared of my father after that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got the golden key, though, guys. We got the golden key, which probably doesn't even work in the door. Might work in this drawer. Does it work in this door? Oh, wise one. Please tell me what the golden key is for. Like, I haven't seen any of the locks. So now I'm even more confused than I was before. Now, the only thing I did think is I don't know if there's more to that story than what we read. See, so one, one, seven, four, five, ten, eight. Also, I don't think that pin really works. One, seven, four, five, ten, eight. One, seven, four, five, ten, eight. One, seven, four, five, ten, eight. No. What do I do with the golden key? Do you need the golden key, sir? You do. Okay. What did that do? Why did I just give the golden key to an all-seeing eye? I'm a bit confused. I wonder if there is something that's something to do with this story. I kind of think there's maybe something else in this side. I still don't know what that did, if anything. Because clearly it was meant to go there, but can't take it off. Yoink. Yeah. That's not very fair, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bug I actually found out uh, once before. You can actually take things through. Oh my goodness. It was meant to be. <laughs> All right. Maybe it wasn't so uh so much of a troll after all. It was personal. Made. But yeah, there are I've, I've played some maps where it is possible to like grab stuff through. I was going to say I was just going to see if it like fitted into any of the things, but and then I would have worked out how to open the drawer, but clearly the troll was real. Two hours later. Alrighty, so um, after a short intermission, we're back. 
looking at the map, see if we can work anything else out. I've done everything again because, uh, yeah, thanks for that game. There is no way to uh, solve. There's no way to, uh, sorry, to save your progress. So you have to start back again every time. We'll do the troll key, of course. Uh, so yeah, I haven't been picking up any of the um, anything else other than what I needed to do. Also, that creepy guy's still there. So yeah, I also haven't put anything on here. I don't want to try and like look. But yeah, I, I still don't know what the crow does. It's obviously meant to go there. But the real question is why? Also, I do still wonder if there is something like a way to open this drawer here. I wonder if like the endpoints have anything to do, but then I think hmm, that wasn't very descriptive at all, was it? What I meant to say was I wonder if like those dots indicate something. But there's no no kind of way that we would know an order for them, is there? I was looking at like at the bookshelf, but there's not the same colours on there as there is there. Yeah, I don't know what to do next. I can only assume like we have to open this door. I'm pretty sure. I tried all of the keys we have available to us. The logical thing would kind of say to me that we need to do something else with another number combination, but I don't know where we would find the combination. Looks like I don't know what to do with the golden eye. Golden eye. I'm pretty stuck on this one. What do you do after the golden key placement. I don't know when Conklin will get back to me on that because he's probably sleeping. Totally didn't just like randomly try to do that. I don't know how I get to 445. Moving on. <laughs> it's not even the right key, of course. Ah. Uh, all right, so I tried all the combination of the clock and then I went back and restarted the map again just to see if this key would actually unlock that drawer where we kind of almost semi cheese getting the key, but it does not. So yeah, I don't, don't know what the purpose of this key was. And yeah, like I said, I went through all the combinations of the clock and I got nothing different. All right, well, I honestly, I genuinely don't know what I meant to do next. I feel like I've tried everything. So I have to wait and see uh, when Kong Clan comes back online and um, see if he can give me like a subtle hint. But yeah, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm missing something simple, but I genuinely don't see what to do next logically or like anything to do even. There's a three there and there's a two here. But other than that, there's no other numbers. I'm pretty sure like trying these backwards will not result in anything. But we'll try it anyway. I can only assume we need to open this. But I don't I don't know how. Again, it says that like the mug root beer is a key item, but I'm not seeing like anywhere where it would like snap into place for like a hidden kind of positioning. Do you want the root beer? Maybe not. All right, let's wait and see if uh, Kong Kong comes back with a hint for us because um, yeah, I haven't I got a clue what to do here at the minute. Tomorrow.
All right, guys, we're back. And as you've seen, uh, Conclan responded. This is the actually the next day. And yeah, so there's something in this text which indicate how we undo this cupboard door, as you can kind of see. I kind of alluded to that when I was talking to Conclan. Now, I'm wondering if it's to do with the way and the order that they finished. Let me just get my trusty pen and paper. All right, trusty pen and paper acquired. So it says here, um, I did it. I touched the tree first. So me, I think I had number seven, didn't I? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So hold on, there's me, which was... Seven. Who finished second? Jared. Let's write the names down first. So Fred was the one who sorted everything out. So he got the first number. Well, he just said he got the first number. He doesn't say what number he got. So I'm just going to assume that's one. Garrett got four. Eddie got five. Jared got ten. Matt was an eight. Or was it a six? Let's put a six in question. So, all right, let's see if we can, like, maybe... Do these in the right order then. So it'll be seven, ten, four, eight, five, one. Ah, seven, ten, four, eight, five, one. What if it's the other order? Maybe what if it's the order like that they actually got their numbers? So it'll be one, seven, four, Five, ten, eight. It also says about like maybe Matt got a six, so we'll try both those combinations with a six instead of an eight. Nope. What about if we set the clock hands instead to like seven, ten, four? This is the Eight or six, five, one. What if we set these like the where it says one? Maybe we set these to their position. Seven. Fifth one was five. Uh, sixth one was one. Second was ten. Uh, fourth was eight. This one was one. Uh, no, three was four. Hey, there we go. We have a new key. Let's keep better open something. Swear down. Hey, success. All right, I dread to think what waits for us on this side. More keys, of course. Also, there are more locks and more doors. Really doesn't surprise me we see things like this. Okay. Oh, hi. Ah! Right, vase. Vase again. Green box. Blue chair. I'm sure it doesn't, but does the key open the door? That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? What does all these things mean, though? So, what's with the weird numbering? Unsurprisingly, not much answered, just more questions. All right, hold on. Give me my pen and paper again. Yellow, green, well, pink, white, blue, red. That could be telling us an order, maybe. So blue is eight. Green is seven. White is nine. Red is five. Pink is four. 
And yellow one, I guess. Yeah. Right, 174985. As far as I know, there's only one place to enter codes. So, one, seven, four, nine, eight, five. Oh, maybe we just need to open them in the right order. So, one, seven, four, nine, eight, five. All right, something opened. Something opened somewhere. Oh, hi. Oh my, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? All right, well, I guess we start at the beginning. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One eternity later. Only kidding. All right, so where do we actually? Let's think. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's nine things. Three rooms. Do we, uh, do we add up the keys in each room perhaps? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's one in there is 20, 21. So that'd be like O, oh, two, one. One, two, three, four. One hidden down there, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that would be eleven in here. One, two, two in here. I think there's a way into there. See, so yeah, that would only be two. But yeah, that's that's not right. I guess the golden key didn't really do anything. Should we sell out to Chris? He's so cool. Is it that number there? 13708 9123. 13708 9123. That's not the answer. Um. We uh can we offer you a can of root beer maybe? About a golden falcon. I bet you want one of those, don't you? No. Is it just all threes? There's an issue with the wall there. Guys, I think you might need to uh, sort that out. Or do you? Yeah, I think you probably need to sort that out. It would have been a cool secret, though. I guess we can get into there, but I just don't know how. I really don't want to try all of the keys. This was 445. I don't know how we got to this conclusion, so. Okay, so that was the key for there. How do we get to 445? Maybe you can let me know, guys. Oh. Green, blue, yellow, green, pink, 
red, blue, yellow. Is there nine things here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's more than nine, isn't it? Yeah, there's, okay, it's more than nine, so that's fine. It's not fine, but I'll have to do yellow, blue, red, purple. Green, yellow, blue, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine things. There's nine things. There is nine things. Ah, let's make another note. Got red, orange. And this could be either way. I don't know which way is round, which way is right. Red, orange, yellow, blue, red. Pink, green, yellow, blue, I think. Yeah, blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, the only place I've seen all of these colors together Jackie, is back in the Chris Pratt room, we'll call it. It's the, the second room, where there's the squiggles on the wall. Really bizarre. Like, you can walk in some of it, but you can't walk in other bits. Yeah, we can't walk into this corner over here. Okay, so the only place we haven't seen, we've, like, it's just here, isn't it? But... Red, orange, yellow, blue, red. Red, orange, yellow, blue. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two greens. I haven't got two greens in my list, and there's no pink there either. I mean, unless we're using, reusing these combinations again. The red is five. I think it was four, I think. Yeah. White, we don't have a white. Green is seven. Blue is eight, if you call that blue. Yellow is one. So we don't have an orange, but we also know that there isn't a number six. So we could maybe deduce that orange is six. Five, six, one, eight, five, four, seven, one, eight. Let's try and reverse. Nope, that ain't it either. All right, well, I guess this leads to more questions. Hold on. Maybe what we're going to do is we count the things here. So hold on. So red could be two. Could be three if you include that. I don't know. Um, orange is one. Orange is two. No, everything might be two. Yellow's two. Yeah, this might not be it. Blue's one, maybe two. No pink. Green's two slash three. Yellow's two. Blue is one slash two. I mean, orange and red, are we including those up there? Because orange could be two slash three. Red could be two slash three. Jeez, oh, that's too many combinations. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be it. So the number two and the number three is written in red, but then by that logic, all of the other numbers are written in yellow in here apart from six. So not sure how that could be helpful. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, ask Conclan again. Uh, I think I'll ask him whether or not the um, cubes on the floor, whether or not they are the next step and they are like an important part of this. Let me try them in reverse on here, I mean. Just try it real quickly. To me, the when you enter the room, it's like the blues at the bottom, so it probably makes sense that blue is one. It's the first one you get to. One, two, two, zero, two, one, two, two, two. Then if the twos were threes, but yeah. All right, uh, I'll go back to Conklin and ask him if the uh, cubes are what I'm meant to be looking at. And then uh, hopefully we'll come back and uh, be able to figure out something else. Fingers crossed.
de Mara Bosch. All right, we are back once again For the renegade master. with Escape Simulator. And um, so, in between, Conclan uh, just gave me yes to the answer to my question, which simply put was, um, are the cubes on the floor important? I've had a thought about them in the meantime, so we'll come to those momentarily. Um, also, though, there was, um, I don't know if there's anything new, but there were, he said to me that they found a bug where you should have been able to walk over to here and through to this side so we can now actually get over to here and i mean if i'm honest i don't know what else i need here i mean there's another key i couldn't get that key before but i don't think there's like anything to interact with as such over here because all these drawers and everything aren't openable so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else we can do with that. There's. Is there anywhere else with like a keyhole? And I'm pretty sure the key for this exit is going to be behind this combination here. And there's nothing else, as far as I know, that we can uh, use this key on. Put that key in the bin for now and remember that it's there so my idea with this was we'd written down previously the order i'm um, going from entering the room to exiting the room using these cubes and following the plant the, the path through obviously we've got blue yellow green etc 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 so my thought was what if we use the number of characters in each of the colors so we've got Blue, which would be four. Yellow, which would be six. Green would be five. Pink, again, would be four. Red is three. Blue, yellow, orange is six. And red. Yellow, green, pink, red, blue, yellow, orange, red. Okay, so this mat here, could that be misleading us? No. I don't know if it perhaps max. As does the same, as does 950 as well. Right. So this is a cool feature. I sorry sorry to die distract, but so uh, this is a cool feature that uh, Conclan just made me aware of as well. If we hit enter on our keyboard, we can actually type in notes. And then it leaves it on the screen. So you know what? We don't need a pen and paper no more. I wonder if this rug is misleading. So our order at the minute would be blue, yellow, green, and then pink. What if when we go under this mat, it doesn't go there. And this line actually goes to there and around there. That would make it blue, yellow, green, blue, red, pink. Ah. Doesn't say if I do that. Blue, yellow, green, blue, red, pink, yellow, orange, red. So if we put that into numbers, that would be four, six, five, four, three, four, six, six. Three and a W, just for good measure. Four six five would stay the same. Four three four, which we've already got. Six six three. Well, that didn't change anything. Oh, because the middle three are, are blue, red, pink. Oh, there's perspective here. I actually saw this in a community map not so long ago. The yellow is three. All right, we're just going to find the right perspectives then. Blue is seven. Red is five. I can kind of see now why you need to be, um, why you need to actually be in this whole room. What have I got so far? I need pink, uh, pink, green, and orange. Pink is eight. Orange 
range is zero. I'm guessing green is two. So that would make it a uh, seven. Well, there's two possible combinations. The first combination that we can see on screen here is seven, three, two. Seven, five, eight, three, zero, five. But then if the middle ones were switched, then if the middle ones were switched, it would be eight, five, seven, three, oh, five. So there are two possible combinations. Let's head back to the combination lock and see what we can do. All right, so seven, three, two, and three, oh, five are always the same on the end. So let's lock. Oh, orange is six. Orange isn't zero, orange is six. Hey! There we go, we got a key. Um, what did I just see there? Your discretion is advised. All right, we did it! Yay! He's so cool. I know, he's so cool. Without Chris, we wouldn't have been able to solve it. Uh, all right, fantastic stuff, guys, fantastic. Although the memes were there, it was actually like a, a, a really good puzzle. Some really good ideas there for the actual, um, for the uh, puzzle itself. The only thing I still don't know the answer to, and I did ask Conclan about it, was the um, clock puzzle. So I did, I was honest with him, and he, I said, that, hey, look, the only thing I haven't done is br a brute force bit clock. And he just said, you find the time after the door puzzle. The door puzzle is important to complete the map, so brute forcing the clock doesn't do much. So, yeah, but apparently you find the combination after you've done the door puzzle. So, I'm not sure. Oh, it's this. There's the combination. I always thought that that was like a sad face with no eyes, but no. That's the combination, of course. Very clever. I, I like the way, um, like I said, I've, I have played one recently, which had like a perspective puzzling. I had to try and find the numbers like that. But um, yeah, like I was saying, as much as the memes are in this map, and um, people might think what the actual beep. So was that always there? Why did you change time? You moved time two from there to there. Anyway, um, yeah, as much as the memes were there, there was some really cool puzzles, and it's really not overly obvious what you need to do at some points. I don't know what the game is. But, um, yeah, no, cool stuff. Yeah, thank you very much for putting this together. I hope to see more um, runes from you in the future. Guys, I really hope you did enjoy this one. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming.